Welcome back. Today I wanted to run a race between all four of the current Prusa 3D printers to see which one will be the fastest to print a Benchy. I set these up from left to right starting with the Prusa Mini and this is the Mini Plus. Then we have the MK3S, the new MK4, and the XL. I know that I can just compare it in Slicer to see which one will be the fastest, but I wanted it in real time from when you click print, how long it takes to calibrate and get started, everything together, which one's going to be the fastest. These are all sliced at 0.2 layer height because that was a consistent profile through all of the different printers. Prusa Slicer says that the mini will be 1 hour and 19 minutes. The MK3S will take 1 hour 26 minutes. The new MK4 says it will take 1 hour and 13 minutes. And the XL says that it will take 1 hour and 4 minutes. In order to keep this as fair as possible, I start them in backwards order. So which one I think will take the longest? The MK3S is the one that I start with. Going back to the screen, it's very difficult to see this screen on camera compared to the other ones. The next one I start is the Mini Plus. Then the MK4. These screens just get better and brighter as I go along. And then the XL. I did change the nozzle on this to 0.4, which is not the stock. So I guess I need to find somewhere in the settings that I can let the printer know that I had changed the nozzle size. Okay, they've all been started and now the beds are heating up. I recorded this entire process in real time, not time lapse. My original plan was to just post the entire video, but I ended up having background noise and there's some long spaces of time where nothing is happening. So there will be a few areas where I speed things up. All of the machines were auto home before I clicked print, but the XL is the first one that starts moving and this one does kind of like another auto home and then it continues to heat. The Mini is the next one that starts moving. That one goes through the regular calibration. And with the Mini, it does this calibration process when the nozzle's at about 170 degrees, and then of course it parks again to finish heating. The MK4 does the same thing, so it starts to do its calibration. And then while the MK4 parks, the MK3 is starting to do its calibration. But that one is a little different. Once it finishes its calibration, it immediately starts printing because it heated up the full way. So it ends up being just a hair faster than the Mini. The Mini starts printing here at the same time as well. In real time, this ends up being 2 minutes and 16 seconds from when I click print. It takes about another 20 seconds or so for the MK4 to start, but of course there is a few seconds of me starting each print to consider as well. All of these printers have Overture PLA on them. I was originally going to do the, all the same color, but I realized by doing different colors then it'll be really easy to tell in the after pictures which printer printed which Benchy. I sped up until the XL starts moving again. This is right at 4 minutes where it starts to do its calibration process. Even on this small of a print, it still takes four minutes until it starts calibrating. Of course, some of that time is the bed heating up as well as the nozzle heating to 170 like the Mini and the XL do as well. At this point, you can start to hear a little bit of tapping background noise, and that is actually from my metal shed expanding in the heat of the summer. So let's go ahead and speed it up a little bit. We're now at five minutes when the XL starts to print. You can hear all the printers going all at once. Okay, let's speed these up a little bit so we're not here for over an hour. Then you can hear the noises of them partially through. This is at about 50 minutes in.
Okay, let's go ahead and speed this up again. You can see that the XL is definitely taking the lead. It's already onto the roof of the Benchy at this point. The XL is a winner at 1 hour, 10 minutes, and 53 seconds until it's finished. Let's check out how it looks. This is the first one that I have printed with a .4 nozzle. Overall, it looks pretty good. There is just a tiny bit of stringing that you can see on the very bow. The bottom looks great. I did use the textured sheet on all of these prints because I wanted to keep them all consistent. But yeah, it looks really good. Now you can hear just the three remaining printers going. Let's go ahead and speed this up again. The MK4 places second at 1 hour, 14 minutes, and 42 seconds. And it also looks great. I don't see any stringing on it, even between the doors there. Just a little bit, I guess. And then also on that front bow, there is a little bit of stringing. Logo on the underside looks good. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Now we're down to just the Mini Plus and the MK3S. Let's go ahead and speed this up once again. And the Mini is in third place at 1 hour, 20 minutes, and 45 seconds. This one right off, I see just a little bit more stringing in between the doorways. And a little more stringing along the front. The top and the bottom both look really good. Yeah, I'm happy with this. So let's see how long until the MK3 finishes. So in last place, fourth place is the MK3S. It was at one hour, 27 minutes, and 54 seconds. But it does look really good. I'm not seeing as much stringing as on the mini. There is a little bit more stringing along the back, it seems like, but the bottom looks good as well. Okay, so we're all finished. Let's compare them next to each other. They all look really good to me. I don't see very much difference on um, any of them. I don't see over extruding or anything that stands out from one to the other. You're going to get similar results from all of these machines. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more racing, if you would like a complete real-time race, or do you like it being snipped and sped up and just the important highlights. Thanks for watching!